So now that you understand what a security policy is and what is uh, what a security model is and, and how they are to related to each other, let's get started and, and understand some of these security models. First one is state machine model. So what is a state machine model? Before I can tell you what a state machine model is, you need to understand what state is, what is the state of a machine or a state of a system is, okay? State of a system is the snapshot of a system at any given moment of time, okay? For example, when you boot up your system and when you open an application, at that point of time, at any given point of time, that is the state of the system, okay? The state of the system tells you, uh, for example, it could tell you that, hey, this user is logged into this system and this user has got so-and-so rights on this specific file. That could be the state of the system. Now, when that user maybe edits the file or closes the file and opens a new file, all that is leading to a change of the state. The system's state is changing from one state to another, another state, okay? Now, maybe the user may delete some file or maybe the user can give a print command to the file. All of these things change the state of the system, okay? So as I said, what is the state of a system? The state of a system is the snapshot of a system at any given moment of time. And at, at that snapshot captures what all subjects have, what all access to, what all objects at any given point of time, all right? Now, many activities can alter the state, which is called a state transition. Now, the state machine model says that as the state of the system transition from one from one state to another another state, the goal of the state machine model is to make sure that at any given point of time, all of the states that the system that the system is in, all of those states remain secure. Because if you think about it, when you boot up your system, that is in a specific state, right? Then you perform some activities and the state change from one state to another state. And then finally you shut down the system. So if the if all of the states that the system goes through, if all of those states are secure states, then your system remains secure throughout the time, right? So that is the goal of the state machine model. It says that no matter what state the machine is in, all of those states should not be insecure. The states should always remain secure and no activity should put the system in an insecure state because if the system is booting up in a secure state, if it is transitioning from one state to another state in a secure manner and all the states remain secure until the shutdown of the system, then the secure state machine model is accomplished. Okay. So that is the goal of the state machine model. Like it says here, ideally, no state transition should put the system from a secure state to an insecure state. Okay. And if no activity puts the system in an insecure state, the system executes secure state machine model and a secure state machine model system boots up in secure state. It executes commands in a secure state. It allows subjects to access resources securely and it shuts down uh, in a secure state as well. So it always remains secure if it follows a state, a secure state machine model. So that is a state machine model. Okay. 